Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're in Carlisle, Pennsylvania at the Carlisle events, the Chrysler National. And with that, they're featuring Super Bs and Road Runners. And today we have Patty. Patty, what's your last name? Deanna. And Patty Deanna has what kind of car? 1968 Dodge Super B. And this isn't your first Super B. No, number seven. Number seven. <laughs> so let me ask you a question. Why did you need seven of these. I didn't need any of them, but I wanted them. That a girl. Why this car out of all the cars in the world? Um, I just like the style. You just like the yep. style. Come on back. Let's take a look at yep. your baby. And this color would normally be B5 blue, but what did they call it in 68? QQ1. And this is the first year for the Super B. I think this color... This car just looks phenomenal. Likewise. What is the reaction? You know, I came running up to you. What's the reaction when you're driving this one? Um, I don't only drive actually into the trailer and back. All right. You're, <laughs> Sometimes you're I You've driven drive. other ones, though. Yes. When you're driving them, what's the reaction when you're driving uh, I don't get one because I'm going too fast by the people. <laughs> that a girl. Come on back with me. Let me just show this, too. This is why you put this one on the trailer. Now, what made this one so special that you said, this is my trailer queen? Straight. Straight. Underneath looks like a dead out of the show. Where did you find this one? This car is a California car, but it's from Arizona. That looks wonderful. Back with me. Let's get an overall side of the side shot of this car. It's a big car, so I got to kind of keep going back, and right. so we're right about there. That's another reason why I like, I like big cars. This is great, isn't it? That's wonderful. I like the uh, little cues, such as head star. The star. Magnum wheels. Magnum wheels with the red lines. The red lines look so nice on this, right? They pop so well. Mm -hmm. The ventilated piece here. Our indentations there, as you can see. And the all important bumblebee stripe on the back end. And we have some treats in the trunk. This is yours here? Mm -hmm. How'd you become such a car dog? We'll get you started. Uh, my brother used to make me help him pull transmissions out of his GMs. Your brother used to yeah. make you pull transmissions. Help him, yes. Help him. So my first car was a Chevelle, but that lasted about six months. These cars are rarer, that's why I like them. I like this because it's rare. Let me get that. Original trunk floor. Wow. What a beauty. What are some of the cues you like on this car? I like the color, the four speed. The four speed. <laughs> the fact that the body is mint, actually. Yeah. That's my best part of it. The great shots in the, the 70s, right? Or 60s, late 60s, yep. excuse me. There's our RT. 
And was the stripe on the back, was that an option? I believe so. Or what, for the B, was it, uh, was it uh, standard? Some some newer bees came striped the leaf, but I don't know about this one. All I'm right. Not sure. Yeah. This car came out halfway through production here to compete with the rover. Now, did they not show it in here? Am I missing it? No, they don't show it in there. RT, because it's halfway. Yes. Ah, isn't that interesting? It's hard to find any literature on this car at all. The first, the first year. Look at this script in 68. That's great stuff. <laughs> Your warranty. Alright, let's take a look at the interior, shall we? So we have our buckets. What was that? No, you're fine. I'm going to have you hold that for a second. Do they have a door tag or does it have a tag under the hood? Is there a door tag on there? one here. Uh, that would be our yeah, wheels. Yeah, one under the hood too. Yeah, that's the one I'll be looking for. Because that'll show you that there's lots of room in this. Yeah, no kidding. Lots of room in this. What's that? Lay down and read the paper on the Yeah. Look at that. I like the way they lay out the instrumentation and the best part right there. your four speed. Nice. And they had no, no, nothing in here that says Super B or a Coronet. No. Nothing across the dash. Really interesting. Not for the first year. So clean. So clean. So The 68 little marker light right there. This is your car. Do you know if it came on the recording? The 383 Magnum. There's the tag there. Not the tag, but the number. Shall we? You don't give me one second. I want to get that tag right there. Where did you find these? What was the toughest part in restoring this car? Uh, finding parts for them. Now that's right next to your manifold. All right, so we're just going to start your car for a second. Keep that there so it doesn't burn that tag. All right, okay. I'm taking care of Patty. <laughs> All right, Patty, what's some of the fun things with these cars? Tell me why you love them so. I don't know, because I'm nuts. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably why I like you so. So, uh, um, but no, you've had seven of them. I mean, what's the dress? What's is, is I don't it know. I think I like the colors, the just the rarity of them all. Yeah. Yeah. 
They don't make many of them. They don't make many of them. Yeah, just like myself. There you go. Let me show this right here, too. Where'd you find this? This is kind of cool. Yes, I bought it here, actually. All right. And that this, is so this is time, this yeah. is kind of the... Now, does your... What, the scat pack, does yours have the scat pack? Is that... Yeah. yeah it does. It has it above the stripes. Okay. Plus, I worked for Chrysler for years. So oh, really? Yep. I'm going to feature that. If people like what they see, subscribe to the channel. Hope to come back for more cars. Patty, what a pleasure. So much fun seeing you. Same to you. Looking forward to seeing you again. Thanks for being on my car story. Okay, thank you.